Hello, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. My name is Magdalena Tiburcio, and I will, I will be your host today. Um, hopefully, in this session, you will learn how to use the blog in the Compass platform. Um, let me share with you who is this webinar designed for. This webinar was created for people who are using Compass and who are using the Compass platform. I am not going to give a training, an initial training session on the Compass uh, platform. I'm going to tell you uh, about the blog and how the blog works and that's the only thing we're going to cover if you would like to see a more complete training session on the compass webinar uh, on the compass platform sorry um you can visit our webinars channel right so my name is magda and once again um let's get started with the session okay i'm turning off my webcam there we are and now you should be able to see my screen so you should be able to see my screen now there it is so hello everybody um so some people from lima peru hi how are you in peru hello good morning everybody uh, good morning latin america there are many countries here hello chile hello mexico honduras guatemala awesome Welcome, everybody. Um, I think it's really, really amazing that we are online and everybody's here. Someone from Playa del Carmen, que envidia, right? So here we are in stupid Mexico City inside our apartments. And there you can, you can see the beach. Amazing. So hello, everybody. Let's get started with the session. And let me tell you what are the objectives for today. Hi to Zacatecas. Um, so, what we are going to do today is to explore very particularly the blog. So um, let me share with you that I love blogging. I have a personal blog. And um, for years, I have been learning a little bit about how blogging works in education and different kinds of things you can do with your students. The blog that you have in the Compass platform is very basic. It's going to allow you to do several activities. But if you would like to have, um, I'm going to call it real, although the, the webinar, the, the, the Compass platform blog is real. If you would like to have a real blog outside Compass, um, later during the year, we will have a blogging course. So if you are interested, we will have one. Um, let, let me turn on the camera again, because I think there are lots of new people. So hello again from Mexico City. I am Magdalena Tiburcio. I am the Academic Services Coordinator for Richmond, Mexico. Um, we are very happy to have all Latin America here. Hello. Um, I hope you are staying safe at home and uh, that you are using this time to learn a lot about online teaching and platforms. And um, don't forget that you can contact us. At the, at the end of the session, I will give you my contact information so you can send me an email if you have any further questions or if you need more guidance in terms of the platform. Okay, so hello everybody, let's get started. Um, let's get started by defining what a block is, okay? Oh, by the way, and I forgot to introduce you to the, uh, the Compass Specialists in Mexico. Um, Alicia Martinez, Anaid Bolaños, and Mayra Lopez are online too. Um, they will be, if necessary, they will turn on their microphones and, and help us during the session, but they are also online. So if Alicia, Anaid, or Mayra are the consultants that visit you, they are online too. Okay, let's get started then, now that, that I haven't forgotten anything. Um, so let's define what a blog is. Um, I'm sure that many of you have, uh, uh, well, some of you have uh, have been born uh, a couple of decades ago and maybe remember Doogie Hauser. Um, Doogie Hauser used to have a diary. Do you remember that one? He used to write or well, he used to type his reflections on what had happened during the day uh, in his computer. And this was his log, right? Um, the evolution of that, 
Uh, I can't believe I'm citing Doogie Hauser, but I think that's the easier way to see it. Uh, the evolution of that is what we call a blog nowadays. So a, a blog is the abbreviation of a weblog, which is basically some place, a space where you share information about yourself, uh, mainly your views on the world, and then you publish it. That's the big difference. In the case of Doogie Hauser's uh, weblog uh, or, or log, he wouldn't publish what he was thinking. It was a personal log that he kept in his computer. And some of us have a web logs or blogs where we type and we share with the entire world. So um, the idea, I took these definitions from WordPress. Um, WordPress is one of the biggest providers of um, blogging platforms in the world. And the blog in the Compass platform is powered by WordPress. So um, if you want to get familiarized with the Compass blog a little bit more, my personal suggestion is that you start a blog yourselves in WordPress, it's not compulsory and it's not completely necessary, but it could help. Now, um, what we can see in this definition is that um, the idea of a, of a blog is that we can maintain ongoing chronicle information, right? A chronicle of information. So it's very important that you type or you write or you enter information into your blog as often as possible. Um, why as often as possible? Because that's the idea of a blog, that you can uh, keep communication going there. And the other cool thing about blogs is that everything you type in there is archived, it's stored. Um, now, the topics in the blogs can be very, very uh, wide. They can be political views. Um, sometimes they can be on a particular subject. And there are what we call in Mexico Chile Mole and Pozole blogs, right? Which is basically blogs where people talk about everything. So um, let's talk about the different kinds of blogs that we have in education. We have three main types of blogs. Uh, this is a proposal made by the British Council. And the British Council suggests um, three different blogs that you can use. One is uh, the tutor blog. The tutor blog is the one that you have in the Compass platform is a blog where the entire control is the teacher's own. Um, you as the teacher run that class and you run the blog. The content, the type of information, etc., it's going to be decided by the teacher. And these blogs are usually limited to the syllabus in your course book or maybe homework or assignments, etc. Um, also, um, there are some tutor blogs of, of a different kind, which is typical of people who, for example, uh, move to live into Japan. I'm very sure that you have seen these blogs. Um, I follow a blog by a girl who is living in Japan and she has been traveling around Asia uh, teaching English. And she keeps a blog where she tells her stories about living in, a, in, in the culture of these countries, what she has learned, um, the difficulties that, that students have in that area of the world, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's very interesting. And that's another kind of blog that you can follow, right? So the first one is the tutor blog. Basically, the control is all the teacher's own. If you're working with older students, um, and this cannot be done in the Compass blog, uh, that's important to say, it's called the class blog. The class blog is a collaborative area where students and teachers can collaborate alike. So basically what you do in a class blog is that the teacher can propose topics, but the students can do it as well. So usually when you own the blog, you are the only person that can create an entry. Um, but if you have a collaborative blog and most blogging platforms allow you to have these collaborations, uh, anyone who is part of that staff can uh, post an entry. So there's some vocabulary that it's interesting to learn related to blogs, and that would be an entry, 
an entry or in Spanish, entrada. An entry is basically um, something that you start. An entry is an article, let's call it that, in the blog. And then um, to post is to make it publish. Um, and we also have the comments and the threads. Um, the great thing about blogging is that people can comment and that people can comment on the comments. And I'm, I'm not sure if you have done this, but sometimes entering YouTube, for example, or a blog, uh, the most fun part is always the comments. Now, what is the great news about the Compass blog? Uh, about the Compass blog, sorry. Um, the Compass blog is not completely free for people to comment. The teacher has to moderate everything, which makes it very safe, right? So. In other kinds of blogs, uh, teachers can post and students can post as well. And the cool thing about this is that sometimes uh, teachers can blog and sometimes students enter a topic, um, etc. So these kinds of blogs are advised for older students, maybe in secondary school or high school, or even fifth or sixth graders. And to create this kind of blog, you would have to do something outside of um outside of of the compass uh, platform right um the last kind of blog that there is and that is the objective that we have as teachers is that one day our students have their own blog so um the learner blog is a blog owned by the learner and what the teacher does is that the teacher usually guides and gives some ideas about what they can do um what the teacher what the student is going to post is basically how he feels his learning experience um they can post about something they found interesting etc and something important is that as a teacher you should encourage students to post in their blogs very frequently and also to visit each other's blogs so they can uh keep on conversation going Right. So these are the three different kinds of blocks that we have. Um, in the case of, of Compass, I will show you how this works. Students can enter an article or a topic. Yes, they can. Um, and I will show you how this works. All right. So um, bear with me and we will learn how to use the Compass block. OK um so please buckle up because we're moving uh now we are going to be hold on what's going on here we are okay so you should be seeing my oh i don't think you see it hold on hold on please um i think that you cannot see my blog there it is. Hold on, hold on. So here's my screen. Okay, for some reason, you cannot see my screen. I don't know why. Can you see it now? Can you see the compass, the compass blog? Well, the Compass website, can you see it? Because I don't think that it's allowing Yes, me. we can. You can? Great. Awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. I was getting a little bit scared, but, oh, wait, I am scared again. Uh, um, so do you see the website? You should be able to see the website. I think that what you are seeing is my it, it's a slide i think yes you're seeing the slide mm -hmm. but i don't want you to see the slide i want you to see the website and for some reason it's not working hold on hold on everyone i'm going to fix this issue very soon there it is okay so hopefully you are seeing, there it is. Okay, let's continue. Panic has passed. Uh, let's log in then. I will show you how you log in as a, as a teacher and then how this works, right? Um, 
so let's get in um i am entering oh right the password sorry um i am entering as a teacher so as a teacher it looks like this okay and um there are two ways in which you can access the blog you can access the blog by using um the writing log and you can access the blog by using this button on the top on the top side uh, the the top left uh, side of your of your platform so um i am going to access as in this button with the compass log now, why are there two different ways in which you can access the blog? Because there are mainly two different ways in which you can work with this, okay? This is the control panel. The control panel, it's not very friendly because it comes from WordPress. It wasn't created for Compass. This is what a real blogging dashboard looks like. So as you can see, a blogging dashboard is not as intuitive as, as you would think. Um, but what is very important here is that you are not afraid of it and you click on every single button, okay? I know it sounds weird, but it's the only way in which you're going to learn how to use the dashboard. Click everywhere. There's nothing horrible that will happen if you click everywhere. Um, you're not going to suddenly uh, buy something or you're not going to collapse the internet or destroy the compass platform that can't happen so don't worry click everywhere and make sure that you learn what every single uh, what every single button does does okay so uh, the most important section then is this dashboard and this dashboard has a section called at a glance in the at a glance section of your dashboard you will see how many posts there are or entries how many comments and this is the most important part of this okay the posts and the comments so let's get into the posts um when i click on posts i can see how many different things have been posted and i can also see which of these things have been published who is the author who created these things i can also see the categories and i can also see the date so these are important things um, if for some reason you would like to erase an entry or you would like to edit the entry, etc., um, it's possible by using the, um, uh, the, the dashboard, all right? So um, this is one of the ways in which you can enter and you can post directly here by clicking on the button on top that says new and then you choose new post, right? So this is a way in which you can publish in the in the compass platform now i'm going back to make sure that this was clear for everybody okay so here i am back in the compass uh, in the compass control panel where i can see my logs and everything and now i am going to access the blog the, the same way that we did okay um now if you don't have the compass block button it's maybe because you are not using the writing lock okay it's very important um some people are asking in the in the section in the in the question section uh, if you don't have this button it's because you don't have the writing lock it is very important that you take this into account because the writing log is is the one that is linked to the compass block all right, so this is important to know. Um, if you would like to have the writing log, it's it's important that your students are using it. So um, I am going to access one more time. I'm clicking on this button, and by clicking on this button, I enter the dashboard. And remember the two most important things in the dashboard, the posts and the comments. I will also access here as a, as a student, so you can also see the view of a student that logs into the log, all right? So bear with me, and if for some reason you still have questions, if you would like to see this again, we are recording the session, so you can watch it one more time. At the end of the, of the webinar, I will tell you where you can go and watch this. Uh, and also, um, I am going to give you my contact information. If you are living in Mexico, you can contact me and ask for training sessions from the Compass Consultants. If you are living in other countries, 
please contact your local representative uh, so they can give you the training session and, and visit your schools. All right, um, but the entire world can feel free to, to contact us and ask for questions or guidance. And we will tell you if we can help us, if we can help you directly or if someone in, in a local office will contact you. Alrighty. So, um, uh, Maria Intriago, yes, you can watch this as many times as you wish. It's a video. So it's a free access video and you can watch it as many times as you want. Um, exactly, Claribel. If you don't have the writing book, then you don't have the blog. Okay. So um, let's continue then with the posts. If you want to post an entry, you only have to click on new post. And that's how we can create something new. Right. So, for example, let's say that I would like to write something for my students. I would like to let's say that we are going to talk about movies. Right. Let's let's come back here. And uh, very soon what we are going to learn in class is related to movies. OK, so in order to prepare for that, I would like to collect some information from my students so I can prepare better. Um, so I'm going to call this post, what's your favorite movie? Oh, no, not move, that's different. Your favorite movie, right? Hi guys, or the way you refer to your students. Let's share our very favorite movies. Comment which are your favorite movies and what's your favorite type of movie um by the way i strongly suggest that as a teacher you always include an example okay it's very very important that you give your students an example of what you expect them to post um, because sometimes students are answering with monosyllables or only words um, so for example i am going to type the way in which i want my students to to reply right so in here i'm saying um my favorite movies are the back to the future which my students probably have never seen because they are too young for this old lady who loves back to the future um okay so my favorite movies are the back to the future oh sorry to the future trilogy i love sci-fi sci-fi and comedy mm. hold on let's just say i love sci-fi movies there you are okay so this is what i have and um for my students to be able to see it i only have to post it i am going to select in the category the class of my students in this case it's magda's class so i'm going to choose this so my students can see it easily all right now i'm going to publish this and that's it that's the way in which you can publish um, um one of these things now how do i know if it was published if you want to know if this was published you can go back to the dashboard which is this menu and then you can check on posts and now you can see all the posts and the status right so this was published a minute ago and if you want to edit the post, for example, maybe you made a mistake and uh, you made a typo or you made a spelling mistake or you would like to add more information, then you edit. But if you only want to see what it looks like, you click on view. And by clicking on view, you can see the way your students are going to look at this, right? So hi guys, let's share our favorite movies. Comment which are your favorite movies and what's your favorite type of movie? Look at this example, yada, 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 etc. Right? So, this is what it looks like. I'm going to leave this part. And um, 
what I am going to do now is to show you which is the other way in which you can access the Compass blog. So to recap, in order to use this, um, it's important, uh, don't forget that this session is not for Richmond Learning Platform, is not for Richmond Spiral, it's only for Compass users and Compass um, blog, okay? So if you are interested in learning about the Richmond Learning Platform or the Richmond Spiral, um, we have recordings of those webinars. I will tell you where you can find them a little bit later. And um, Stopwatch, no, it's only Compass, okay? The only book that has this platform and these functions is Compass. So um, the other way in which you can access the Compass blog is through the writing log. So I'm going to enter the, the writing log and then the topic, which is, can I make a movie? And the direct access is right here. You advance, and when you get to this section, which looks like an empty page, this is the other access for the Compass blog, okay? So, um, Hold on a second. Um, how does this work? Well, the idea is that you can uh, you can post freely by accessing directly, uh, but if you want to post specifically for a for a topic, you can do it through here. What is the advantage of publishing here? That in here you can introduce pictures and and shapes and links, etc. In the other version, it's not possible to include pictures, only hyperlinks. So uh, let's do another kind of post, okay? So I'm going to post here, hold on a second, my favorite movie. I'm going to make this very, very short. My favorite movie is Back to the Future. The main character is Marty McFly. And I can extend and tell a lot more about this, right? So I would like to, in, to, to enter a picture of Marty McFly. So I'm going to click here. So these are the, the, um, the tools that you have. This is to save. This is to publish. Um, so if you don't finish what you are doing, but you don't want this to disappear, make sure that you click on save. And if you finish and you want it to go public, you click here on the Compass block to publish. You can also print this. You can undo and, and redo. You can uh, introduce pictures, shapes, links to include videos or sound or, or to embed something. And in here, you can get more information about how this works, right? So I clicked here, and now I am going to look for Marty McFly. Now, I should tell you that this is a safe search, which means um, it's going to search Google, but it's going to be very, very safe because um, this was specially designed for children, okay? So here I have Marty McFly. This is the one I want to use, okay? Here we are. And this is what I'm going to ask my students. Have you seen the movie? Do you like it? Okay, I finished my movie. Now I'm going to publish. Okay, now how do I know if this was published? Well, first, for starters, you will receive a message that looks like this. Um, now, I think it's very important for you to know that everything you publish as a teacher is going to be posted directly to the blog. Um, but the things that your students publish are not going to be visible until you authorize them. I will show how this works in a minute. So let me leave this, this page. Let's go to the blog and, and prove if this is right, if this is true. Mm-hmm. And remember the, the dashboard. Let's check the posts, how many posts are there. So here it is. Uh, now look at the difference. When I publish directly into the dashboard, I am going to be able to edit. 
if I publish from the compass uh, writing log, I cannot edit, okay? Take this into account. Whatever you publish from the writing log, it's going to look as it is and you can only visualize it or you can trash it. So um, let's see it. And this is what my entry looks like. My favorite movie is Back to the Future. The main character is Marty McFly. Have you seen the movie? Do you like it? And that's it, right? So this is the teacher experience. Let me log out as a teacher. Hold on a second. Um, someone is saying that this is a long process. Well, blogging is not um, as easy, okay? Um, blogging is a full activity that you should invest in. If you are interested in blogging, it's not going to be super fast. You should take your time to blog. And this is true for the Compass platform and for any blogging you want to do. So if your expectation of blogging is to do something super fast, mm, blogging is not the best option. Blogging requires some time and planning. Um, I invite you to try it. I think it's, it's fun and it could be something enjoyable for you. So if you would like to try it, uh, it's there, it's available. Uh, if you don't want to try it, if you think this is not for you yet, that's okay. But um, I think it's important to know that the platform gives you that option, okay? I'm going to sign out as a, as a teacher, and now I am going to sign in as a student. So I'm going to be student five. Um, and what I would like you to, to see now is what this looks like as a student, okay? So now I have entered as a student and the same applies as with the teacher. I can enter the blog directly from here, but I can also enter the blog from my writing log, okay? Now, what's the difference? Let's enter. Let's see what's different here. Um, what is different for teachers and for students? Um, let me see, here it is. Um, as you can see, as a student, you don't have access to the dashboard, okay? You see, you don't have access to the dashboard because you're a student. The only thing that you can do as a student is to access the blog itself. Now, how do I see the blog? I am going to look at here where it says blogs, and I'm going to choose Magda's class. And when I choose Magda's class, I can see all of them. Now, what is cool about this? Well, if I want to, I can see the blogs the other classes have. This is cool, which means the entire class, the entire school can see the blogs of every class. So that's something interesting, that's something realistic. And the other true thing is that you can comment on each other's blogs but the teacher is going to keep it safe, okay? So I'm going to show you how this works. So I want to see this one. I'm entering the topic and I am going to reply to my teacher. Yes, I have seen the movie. I like it. And then a happy face, right? Now you will notice that it says your comment is awaiting moderation. So until my teacher approves my comment, no one will see it. This is how we prevent cyberbullying. We make sure that people are not using the Compass block uh, to, hurt, to hurt each other. We are making sure that they are using the Compass block in a safe environment. So um, in this case, this is what we can do. Let's go back to the main blog, which is this one, right? And there are so many other things that my teacher has posted, right? So for example, in here, we have a post called getting to know each other. So I'm entering here and I can see that it says, hi, welcome to our class. Let's get to know each other. Tell us your name, nickname and favorite animal. And we can see some responses. So here, uh, Dulce is saying, hello, my name is Dulce. My friends call me Dulcinea. I love dogs. And the teacher replied, I love dogs too. Then Gabby said, hi, I'm Gabby. My mom calls me Gavita. I like cats. And then Carly, I'm Carla. My family calls me Carly. I love hamsters. 
And then here's my reply uh, as a student that says, hello, my name is Irma and my friends call me China. I love cats, right? Or Lily, my name is Liliana Maria, but everybody calls me Lily. I love ferrets. Now I would like to reply to Lily and say, I like ferrets, but my mom hates them. Then a sad face, right? And I post the comment. And once again, it says that it's awaiting moderation. Okay, so here's how I can I can uh, participate in the blog, entering directly from here. But if I would like to publish something as a as a student, the only way to publish a blog would be entering the writing log. Okay, so I'm going to enter the writing log. And I am going to the can I make a movie section that we were visiting. And the same applies for students. If students want to enter something into the log, they can come here. Um, now, this happens from time to time. I'm sorry um, that you have to see it like this, but sometimes you cannot see the tools. If this happens, only refresh the page and come back and you should be able to see them. Okay, this has happened to me a couple of times and this is the way in which this is solved, you see? So if you get into here and you cannot see the tools, refresh it and come back and you will be able to see them. These are the tools to publish, okay? So now uh, as a student, um, well, students are supposed to, to replicate the task that they created in the writing log. So as you know, at the beginning, it tells you what you are supposed to do. In this case, a review of a movie. And then the entire process is learning how to write the review, preparing. You do this in class with the teacher, and then you do the drafts. And the idea is that students can publish their final piece in here. So the, the idea of this section in the webinar is to encourage our students to publish their work. And it is very exciting as a student when you are writing in English, if it gets published and uh, that's what we wanted to create, okay? So in, in this particular case, um, for students to publish in the blog, it has to be done here. So I'm going to publish something just for you to see the experience when I come back as a teacher. Um, I am writing whatever. I'm going to enter a picture and this picture is going to be this one. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to publish. So um, I am going to log out and log in again as a student. Alrighty. So let me log out and log in one more time. Okay, so let's recap what we have learned so far about uh, the Compass blog. Um, what we have learned so far is that there are two ways in which you can access the Compass blog. You can access the Compass blog directly from this button on top. Uh, whether you are a student or a teacher, you can access from here and you can access and publish from the writing log. Now, the other thing we have learned so far, if you are not using the writing log, if this is not activated, then the Compass blog is not available, okay? This is important for you to, to know and to take into account. Um, what I am telling you right now applies only for the Compass platform, but we have a webinar for the Richmond Learning Platform where we explain something similar, but for Richmond Learning Platform. Um, if you are interested in learning about that, let me show you where you can go. Now, oh, hold on a second. We haven't finished, don't log out. I'm just showing people where they can find this information. Um, oops, sorry. Um, so if you are, interested in learning more about using the different platforms and you didn't catch the webinar, please go to www.gotostage.com slash channel slash 
Richmond Teacher Training. In this channel, you're going to find the recordings for all the webinars that we have broadcasted during this week. In there, you can find um, a webinar about the Richmond Learning Platform and the forum, which is very similar to what we are doing right now, but in the Richmond Learning Platform. Okay, what I am telling you right now only applies for the Compass users. So, coming back here, remember you can publish from the writing log and you can publish from here if you are a teacher. So, let's log in and see what's new. My student has been working around in the blog, so let's see if this reflects. Um, you probably notice that there is something new here and says in moderation. When you have this in moderation section means that a student has tried to publish something and it's waiting for your approval to be published. So here we have that Irma Aguilar is um, replying to Lily, I like ferrets, but my mom hates them. So I can edit, I can trash it or say that this is spam or I can approve. I'm going to approve this. And then I also have um, this teachers, this student saying, yes, I have seen the movie, I like it. So I'm going to approve this as well. Alrighty. Okay. Coming back to, um, to here, let's see what posts we have. So we have uh, all the, the posts that we have. We approved the comments. And here's another new thing that you hadn't seen before. This one says pending because the author is a student. So when students are the ones who, who published, you can preview this and decide if this is okay, you accept it and you publish it by clicking here. If this is not okay, you can trash it and erase it and ask the student to do it again and publish it, right? So. As you can see, the environment is very safe. Um, the idea here is that you can do some activities with your students, but that you don't risk them to be in, in, in danger of, uh, of cyberbullying, for example. Um, so it's a very safe environment so students can interact and they can do things outside school. Now, um, I would like to show you some of the ideas that we have um, published in here so you get an idea of what you can do. You already saw this one, which is getting to know each other, where students can, um, where students can, um, I'm sorry, I got a phone call. No one has been calling me during these days, but when I am here with you in, in the webinar, someone calls. So, uh, typical. Um, let me publish this. Here we are. So, what I was telling you was that um, you can create different entries so your students do different kinds of activities. So, for example, this one of getting to know each other was the little activity at the beginning of the school year that you can post for your students to start using the blog. Um, now, my suggestion, if you have the possibility to work with this in class, if you can project this, um, so your students learn how to use these tools, that would be a very good idea. OK, so if you can post or publish for the first time with your students in class and do it all together, this would be a great way in which your students can um, learn how to use the blog. Now, I think that you would be surprised about how fast your students learn to use the blog, um, because for them, this is this is, I think, easier to do. Right here, I have another model, another example. This is, whole, this is called a Halloween story. So this is an activity that says, happy Halloween, watch the story and catch as many, Hallow as many Halloween words as you can. Then post, them, post them in the comments. And where is the story? Well, here, if you click here, this takes you to YouTube. And that's the story that my teacher wanted to share, right? So you cannot uh, put the video in there. So they watch the video here that uh, that cannot be done but you can include a link and with this link your students will be able to to see whatever you want them to watch right um here i have another one uh, it says learn about medusa and this one says follow this link 
to read a short story, then answer these questions. What was Medusa like? What happened to people who were in contact with Medusa, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. And here I have to answer the questions, right? And to enter this, I have to follow this link. Now, this is not working. Let me fix it. Now, how can I fix something like this if I if I see that it's not working? Um, you go to the edit button, and in here you can check. So, for example, this is my my link. I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to put it again. Okay. Now, I would like to say that I did this on purpose uh, to show you how you can edit and you how you can insert a hyperlink. Alrighty. So um, I'm going to insert the link like this. And now it's ready. Okay. I'm going to update. And that's it. So now um, when I get into this in, into this post. Um, I will be able to see the hyperlink. Let's piece it. Here we are. See? It's different now. So um, when you want to include a link for your students to visit, maybe a story in a different website or a video, etc., it's very important that you introduce the link the way in which I introduced it here, um, because that's the way that your students will click and it will take them there. Right, so um, this is something you can do to make it more practical for students. So they don't have to copy and paste, but they just click and they get there. Alrighty, so um, this is how this works. Um, I am going to come back here. And uh, once again, the idea in the blog is that you can do a little bit more online. Um, this is a beginner's blog. This is a blog which is very limited. Um, and the idea is that it's very easy to use. The main idea here is that you can post ideas and your students can comment. And as you can see, you can moderate this, right? Um, now, how we can erase students' posts? Let me check your questions and see how many of the questions I can address. Um, we have hold on we are 400 people online so uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to reply to everyone in real time okay but i will try to reply as many questions as possible so um how can we manage or erase what our students are doing let's see um if i want to uh, if i want to enter the control the control panel as a teacher i have to enter here right because remember you can also access the blog in the writing log but the only thing that you can really do from the writing log is posting if you want to go to the dashboard which is the control panel you have to access from here okay dogs this is important to know um and in order to manage you have to get to the posts menu and in here you can see everything your students have been doing in here you will see the entire posts right so for example if i want to let's see i want to check this one where i have the most comments you have to enter oh sorry i did it wrong if you want to enter you have to click on view and this is how you can see what your students are doing, right? These, um, these things that you have uh, in here have already been authorized. And that's the reason why we can read the students' comments in here. The only comments that directly get uh, published are the ones that the teacher makes. You are the only one that doesn't need any moderation, okay? So um, now in here, I can see more categories. For example, I can see which are the things that I have published. I can see how many things have been published, no matter which author. And also, I can see what I have trashed. Um, I have trashed many of the previous uh, entries that the other consultants have done. Um, but if I want to, if accidentally I erased something, I can just click on restore and that's it, right? And then it's back in the published section, 
okay? So um, now something important uh, about the blog is that everyone can visit. What does this mean? If you are not in this class, if you are a student in a different class, if you are a teacher in a different class, you can visit uh, in general uh, the, the blogs so you can have a real experience of sharing. Okay, um, and this is something that you should take into account. Uh, in some schools, we have suggested that they try, for example, having competitions. Uh, so maybe, for example, let's choose uh, all the people in the third grade, uh, whenever they are in this topic, why should we protect the environment? They have to create this, right? They have to create a poster. And once again, they will be working in class, preparing their poster, creating some drafts, and then they can post the poster, the real thing in here. And when they publish the poster, all the other kids in the different classes will be able to visit and comment. Now, what happens if they are commenting mean things? Um, let's let's do the, the experiment, okay? I am going to log out and I am going to log in as a mean student. Okay, so here I'm, I am. So I'm going to be student one now, and student one is very mean, you will see. Oops, wrong password. Here, so now I am student one. Student one is very mean, her name is Dulce, as you can see. Now I am going to visit the Compass blog, and once again, how do I see the blogs? By clicking in the menu in the classroom that I want to visit. My classroom is Magda's class, but I can also visit the other classrooms, right? And if they have posted something, I will be able to see it. So here, post awaiting moderation. There is one post awaiting moderation here, etc. But let's go back to my classroom. So here I can see some things and um, here let's go to the getting to know each other post where we have people commenting and I want to say something mean about cats because I hate them okay so I'm going to reply and I'm going to say yuck I hate cats people who like cats because this, this student is very mean, but her English is very good, okay? People who like cats are stupid. And then I comment. So this is not going to be possible. I can see the comment because I published it, I, I send it. But as you can see, it says, your comment is awaiting moderation. So I am going to log in as a different student not the mean student one. Now I'm going to be super friendly student five. Okay. This, um, this student is very friendly. So no danger here. Let's get into the blog again. Remember, get to the blog, find your classroom or the classroom you want to visit. And let's go to the post where it says getting to know each other. Remember that the reply was to Gavita, right? So, hi, my mommy Gavita, I like cats. Do you have a cat? I like cats too. But I cannot see the mean comment about uh, horrible cats, you see? So this is the advantage of the blog. It allows you to stay safe, for students to be nice to each other. And the teacher is the one that uh, decides if things are going to be published or not. So here I go back again as a teacher, and I'm coming here to the Compass block. Now that I'm here, I will get into the comments, right? And it says, there is a comment awaiting moderation. So this one says, yuck, I hate cats. People who like cats are stupid. So I am going to trash this there. So this never existed, right? And no one will ever see the comment except the person that wrote it and me, the teacher, because I moderate everything, right? 
So this is how this works. And as you can see, whenever you have comments pending, you will see that here I have a pending. Um, here it is, let's see it. We can preview it. And this is something, this is the one that we rescued. Remember that I restored something. This is what I restored, right? So here it is. This is not published because I still have to approve it. And since, since I think it's okay, I'm going to publish this. Now, notice that this was a different class. Um, we can see in here who wrote it, the author, which is the category or which is the class and when it was published, right? So for example, this one from class 3A was published 17 hours ago, right? So um, this is how this works in general. Um, this is the compass, uh, the compass block. And once again, the idea is that you log in and you practice and click everywhere. Now, um, this was a very, very general introductory um, webinar where the objective is for you to learn the main functions. But we know that you probably will have some questions and will need more information. If that is the case, feel free to contact us. Um, let me share my contact information with you. Uh, my name is Magdalena Tiburcio. I am the Academic Services Coordinator for Richmond in Mexico. If you are in a different country, um, I mean, you can write us and, and if we can help you, we will, be, we will be very happy to help. But if, for example, you need product information or you need an access code, etc., it's important that you contact the manager in your country. Uh, if you don't know who this person is, feel free to contact me and I will uh, forward your request to this person. So, um, Compass Girls, do you think that we are missing something? You can turn on your, your microphones if you want to. Are we missing something? I think there's lots of things to say more than what you have said, but I guess this is a great beginning for teachers to start working with it, don't you think? Right, yeah, this is just like a starting point, right? Um, there are so many more things that can be done. Um, also, if you are in Mexico and, and you have a, con a Compass consultant, make sure you contact them and uh, maybe we cannot go outside but we can connect and we can have online sessions so we can continue learning on the products that, that we have, right? Um, if you would like to see more webinars, please visit www.richmond.com.mx. We still have spaces for next week. Um, for this week, we are completely full. We are completely packed, but we still have spaces for next week. Uh, next week, all webinars are academic. So if you would like to join us for the future webinars, um, visit richmond.com.mx, choose webinars and enroll into the webinar you prefer the most. So thank you teachers for connecting to the session. Hopefully this has been useful for you if you are using Compass. If you are not using Compass and would like to learn more, contact your local representative. And if you would like to see the recordings of this and many more sessions, please visit gotostage.com slash channel slash Richmond Teacher Training. If you, would look, if you would like to have a product training session on Compass, you can visit gotostage.com slash channel slash Richmond webinars. So thank you very much for joining us. Time's up. And remember, log into your platform and click everywhere. That's the only way in which we can really master how to use this, right? So thank you, have a great day and see you soon. Bye-bye.